Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about lateral talar Lateral talar process fracture or snowboard fracture, uh, talus fracture that can mimic a lateral ankle sprain. It may be an isolated fracture or occur as a component of more complex ankle fracture. The fracture occur when the foot is dorsiflex and inverted, as can happen with snowboarding and then term snowboarder fracture. A fracture should be suspected when there is soft tissue swelling inferior to the lateral malleolus. In conventional radiography or CT scan, fracture have been graded by a C-point scale. Grade 1, uncomplicated fracture involving postmatic uh, surfaces. Grade 2, commuted fracture. Grade 2, A, displacement of fracture pigment less than 2 mm. And grade 2, B, is displacement of fracture pigment more than 2 mm. Grade 3, cortical evasion fracture. This, this three image of, of ankle. So the fracture of the lateral and posterior process of the talus. So we can see clearly appreciate on frontal and multi view to see the Lucency fracture line across the lateral process of talus. But on lateral, we can see clearly pigmentation on cortical defects at the posterior talus process. In CT scan, We clearly see the fragmentation at the lateral talus process. And occasionally we also see in the posterior process, which is not shown in this image. This is another case of commutative fracture through the lateral talar process, which we can see clearly the fragmentation is displaced laterally. And this is the as another example of the lateral talar process fracture, which we can see pen lucency line across the lateral process. Really appreciate on the frontal view and the public or motor view, maybe really hard to see it, but we can find. Come on, I. Fluid sensitive sequence. If an acute injury, there may be bone marrow at the mark in the lateral Precise.
T1 hypointent fracture line through the lateral process, fracture line and or cortical step of maybe better seen on CT. So this is T2 rage image. Come on, I showing a picture of lateral process of the thallus arrow indicated and associated bone marrow edema. Same case, another cross section. So this is the T to wage image showing the displaced fracture of the lateral process of the thallus arrow indicated with osseous edema. Autosound, cortical disruption of the lateral thalapus is placing with a coronal apparent table thala joint space issue. In this image of autosound, so where we should do autosound and which you we, we should do, in case of suspected, lateral talus process fracture. Treatment. The type of treatment depends on fracture grade. Grade 1 and 2A, non-wage varying cast for six weeks unless displaced or involving a significant portion of the tala size of the posterior facet in which cast they should be treated by open reduction in tenor fixation. Grade to b may benefit from additional requirement and grade C usually treated non-operatively. If symptomatic non-union occur, deployment may be necessary. Failure to detect the fracture may lead to non-union anchor instability and accelerated arthritis. The chronic fracture may then require a subtalar fusion. Thank you.